Hello everyone, I'm Ben with BTC Sessions. I'm here at the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo and today I'm taking a look at something called the Bill Foddle. This is an alternative way to store the backup seed to your wallet. Let's take a look at what it is and why it might be for you. So here we have the Bill Fodl, or Fodl. <laughs> uh, super simple packaging. On the back it has a quick explanation. I'll just read it out loud to you really quick. With Bill Fodl, you can assemble any kind of private key you have. Seed phrase, alphanumeric, hexadecimal, etc. Just use the provided, organize, uh, the provided tiles organized inside this package and slide them one by one into the appropriate slat. After you are done, lock the unit into place and you are finished. So I'm just going to show you what comes inside this packaging really simple uh, it's one solid block here um, I've slid it up the side so I could separate it uh, and there are two parts there is the unit itself which pops out it is solid and heavy and there is this block here which is split into uh, a couple letters at a time which are upper and lower case and alphanumeric or the uh, the numbers in the middle along with the blanks as well and these are perforated so you can actually punch it out and then inside i'll show you there are these tiny little ooh, going everywhere these little things and they actually have the letters on them so let's take a look at the, uh, the actual main piece of steel here. Um, so what this does is it slides apart like so, and you have two sides to it. Uh, there's numbers, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's numbered one through 12 on this side. And then on the opposite side, it's numbered 13 through 24. So this works up to a 24 seed phrase. And all you need to do to slide in uh, the letters and numbers is, I've got a little screwdriver here, uh, but really anything works. You just give this top screw a little twist, and then down below, uh, you need to put something in here to push down, uh, and that allows you to swivel uh, this piece here. I'm just gonna, <laughs> kinda hard to do with the camera at the same time, but uh, I push there. And it allows me, if I can do it, <laughs> to swivel this piece out. Okay, so basically you're going to be sliding the letters in this way, uh, assembling all your words on each row, and then closing this, making sure that's pushed back in, and twisting the screw here to lock it into place. So, really, really simple. You literally just slide the letters in the side. So let's see here. I'm just making sure it's the right side up. A, and each one of these, um, depending on the letter, uh, one side is capital and the opposite side, opposite side is lowercase. And you literally just line it up and slide it in one letter at a time. Again, I'm not really caring what I'm, I'm doing here as uh, I'm not assembling a real seed phrase but you would just slide them in one by one all the way down. And once you were done, lock it into place and pivot. And then you lock the whole thing up and you store it like this, uh, really wherever you like. <laughs> and that's, that's the basics of it. It's pretty simple. If you want stuff out, you can just dump it. Okay. Um, so let's explore why. Why do you want this? When backing up any wallet, typically what you're going to end up doing is writing down your 12 to 24 word phrase on a piece of paper and then keeping it somewhere safe. At least that's what most people do. Um, this really takes that to the next level because if you're storing a piece of paper with your seed phrase on it, um, sure, it's safe if you lose the other device where uh, where your wallet is residing, um, but what happens if there's a flood or a fire? That piece of paper is gone, and if you don't have any other backups elsewhere, you're more or less screwed, and there's no way to recover your funds at that point. Whereas with something like this, water is just outright not going to affect it. 
Um, and, and really neither is fire. It would take a pretty intense fire to melt this thing, I imagine. Uh, so it's just peace of mind uh, for those that really share those concerns about what if there is some sort of a disaster that I can't control that destroys all of my belongings. I want to know that I can sift through the ashes and at least find this. Um, so, I mean, it's sturdy as hell feels like it's damn near indestructible and I mean it's it's a nice small little little item that you can hide away somewhere um, I don't think it's a bad idea for people to start considering storing private keys this way uh, because it's really above and beyond what most are doing and the more security the better really thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to hit like and subscribe drop a tip if you're able to and share this video see you guys next time on the BTC sessions